In the northeastern city of Daqing, an international snooker tournament is being held. With a prize pot of 800,000 British pounds, most of the world's top 16 players have come here for snooker's international championship. The, the winner's prize is huge. Anybody that wins the tournament here this week is going to be very happy, you know, £175,000, a hell of a lot of money. Uh, we're all very grateful for the opportunities that the competitions in China gives us. Yeah, it's good. It's good for the game because obviously there's four or five tournaments out in China, so it's, it's, it's good for the sponsors as well. Um, and yeah, it's a worldwide sport, so obviously there's a lot of Chinese and, and if you're good enough, you'll be on the main tour. 19-year-old Yan Bingtao, 18th in the world ranking, is one of the rising stars of world snooker. He's one of the hottest contenders for the champion. Two years ago, he defeated star players Ronnie O'Sullivan and John Higgins at this exact tournament. Yan Bingtao's career in snooker started five years ago when he flew to London alone in pursuit of becoming a pro player. In the second half of each year, I travel backwards and forwards between China and the UK. Sometimes I even traveled back and forth twice in one month. But today, as more and more young aspiring Chinese players join the game, Pro snooker athletes from China now account for a fifth of all contestants across tournaments. Young stars like Yan Bingtao and Zhou Yuelong won world championships in their teams. Also, we have a number of young players from 15 to 18. These players are working their ways to represent China on major professional snooker tournaments worldwide. There are more and more snooker matches in China too, and international players are getting used to coming to China a few times a year to play. This is the fifth year the little-known oil town of Daqing has hosted the international championship. The tournament is helping the city shake off its image as an old industrial base. Snooker fans from around the world have flocked here for the tournament. Today, Four world-class tournaments are held in China every year, offering prize money that's among the highest in the snooker world. The country is quickly becoming a major center of this traditionally English sport. China's outputs in equipment, technologies and talents have laid a very good foundation for the development of world snooker. Today, Britain is holding on tight with the top spot. All the top players are British, but I think this will change in five to ten years. More and more people will challenge their positions. The winner is Britain's Judd Trump. He takes home £175,000. Yan has little time to overcome his disappointment. He has to get back to his busy practice and competition schedule. With more wealth and a newfound love of snooker, many Chinese parents are sending their children abroad for coaching. This has helped to raise the level of snooker in China. The situation is similar for many other sports, including golf, tennis and ice hockey. More Chinese players are entering the list of top players and more international tournaments are being held in China every year. Yan is preparing for the next tournament. It means a return to his high-flying lifestyle. <laughs>